Howdy, Mojave D here. I'm doing well. I hope you are doing well. Welcome to another episode of L.A. Noir, where we got ourselves promoted to detective. A couple of episodes ago, we solved our first case. Uh, the one with the... Uh, that was weird. That was a weird one with the pig in the... A live pig in the trunk. And a interesting, interesting... Uh, stupid, stupid man. Uh, anyway, we solved our first case. Uh, and we did a really solid job. And we're about to uh, embark. They gave us another one. Another case. And uh, something about a, a consulate. A consul's car. Um... So, uh, figure a diplomat of some kind. I don't know if it's one of our diplomats or a diplomat from another country. At any rate, uh, let me get dressed for work and uh, I'll meet you at the office. All right. <laughs> I'm ready for work. Oh. Shoot, I had, uh, I had my big head in there the whole time. You guys missed out. The console's car. I'm sorry, that was a, they had a cool opening scene there in the, in the alley. Okay, we're gonna keep this short. I'm already late for the DA. First up, Phelps, Bukowski. We got a report of a brand new Packard abandoned in an empty lot off 2nd Street between Olive and Grant. DR is one Oswald Jacobs says the vehicle was dumped in his backyard. There's a patrolman on site. Get down there and see what you can turn up. Any questions? Good. Get going. <laughs> I like that. I like that we start at the office. Better go earn our pathetic wages. Can we open the door, please? Rimsky, O'Halloran. Intelligence has information on a stolen car racket. An abandoned vehicle. You catch all the good ones, huh, Phelps? Sounds like there's more to it than that. Nobody dumps a shiny new Packard unless they borrowed it without asking. Exactly. You don't say. You're on fire today, Einstein. Oh, come on, Very man. funny. It doesn't take come a on, my rocket scientist to figure Let's that out. Let's go save the world. Secretary's record rooms, duties. Duty sergeant? Oh, that's out. What happened to our um, our sedan? We had a real nice sedan. We got a police car. Ah, uh, I won't drive because. Several of you said in the comments that um, I'm going to need to know how later, and it only makes sense that you'd be making. Um, Car chases. I mean, you know, it's going to be car chases in here. Um, so, you know, you know what I didn't do though? Is I look at the map. Uh, where are we? <laughs> I might want him to drive. Um, so I think, you know, I've been taking the easy way out and letting the partner do all the driving, and I'm not learning how to drive in the game. So I probably should uh, do that. So where am I? I'm right here. And we're facing the wrong way, so, well, now we can come on down, we can take a left, you know, and then we can take a right and get to it. A backyard. So the interesting word that he used, uh, to me interesting, is dumped and packard and console. <laughs> so we're talking uh, money here. We're talking politicians here. And a packard in a backyard, I mean... And dumped, what does he mean by dumped? Is it upside down? Is it on its side? Why is it in a backyard? Was somebody chasing the console? I'm going to shut up. <laughs> was somebody chasing the console? Like, was he running for his life? Um, they ditched into a backyard. And how the heck do you get a Packard in a backyard? I mean, did they break through the fence? You know, I mean, uh, backyards in uh, L.A., everybody has them fenced, you know, and the rich people have block wall fences. So I'm kind of wondering... All those things. So at any rate, the best thing to do is make my mind a blank page and just 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 the facts, man. Just the facts. The only thing we know is that a 
politician, I assume a con you know what? <laughs> I don't know what the difference is between a consul or what they mean by a consul and a, a diplomat. So we're going to go. <laughs> we're going to jump out of 1940s. We're going to jump into right now. Watch this. Watch this. What's the difference between a consul and a diplomat? Not a console. The stupid thinks that thinks I said console. A workstation in a control room. A consulate. Oh, here we go. Consulate versus. Okay. Let's do it. What's the difference between a consulate and a diplomat? The main difference between a consulate and a diplomat is that a consulate provides services to citizens of a country in a host country. What? While a diplomat represents and protects the interests of their country abroad. So the consulate is providing services to citizens from his country in our country. Okay. <laughs> do I get, do I get, oh, shut up phone, do I get uh, demerits for Google, <laughs> using Google in the 1940s? I don't, <laughs> okay, let's, let's boogie. Okay, I need to learn how to do this. You hear about Adrian? Brought in Seattle, threw him out. Wife says she's gonna take him back. Oh, I pushed down. Women generally show more compassion. What are you talking about? Adrian dumped on her. He was humping the secretary. Margaret should show some pride. Pride comes before a fall, Bukowski. Problem with me driving is I gotta do this a lot. Uh, where am I? What direction am I going? It's hard to tell on this what direction the car is pointing. Is it pointing? I should just let him drive. I'm going to have a hard time with this. Oh, there I am. It's down here. That's why. Okay, uh, yeah, we're just going to hang a right right here. So that. Ionis Officer needs help. 333 South Main Street. 333 South Main Street. Officer needs help. 211. The shots fired. Unit to Hamlet Code 3 identified. Can we help with that? Shots fired. I mean, this isn't like pressing. Can we. There I go. Boy, if you barely press on that, it, the siren goes off. Keeping it straight is a problem. And I went the wrong way. We went under the tunnel and it's behind me. Yeah, I should let the partner drive. <laughs> Otherwise, videos are going to be really long because I'm going to be lost all the time. Watch this. <laughs> Man, if you barely touch the... Um... Oh, look at that gold car. I like that. If you barely touch... L3, uh, too hard, the siren goes on, and I barely touched it. Oh no. Got into a traffic jam. But it does make it more fun if I drive, for me. So, I'm going. <laughs> I'm telling you, the left, the left stick is what I steer with. And if I just press a little bit too hard on it, it does that. Okay, you know what we're gonna do? 
<laughs> We're gonna let the partner drive. Cause I can't I can't figure these streets out. But I do need to boy, I suck at driving. Ah, uh, see, yeah, it's up on top. Christ alive! <laughs> I'm scaring, I'm scaring my partner to death here. Well, we're not gonna get a a perfect score for uh, you know no damage. Go, go, do that. I had to ride away, didn't I? I gotta look at the. I'm gonna have to look at that. I mean, oh. I had a green light. What? Is, what is? What was she doing? I had a green light, didn't I? I know I did. Right? I don't know. Okay. Um. So here's the flag. Oh, it's over here. I'm looking on the left where the flag was. Oh, we dented the car. I, I can't do the driving. I'm going to have to let him do it. Phelps, traffic. I'm Officer Houlihan. Car's down the alleyway, detectives. Okay. On blocks. Not. We got a call about an abandoned vehicle. Yes, sir. The car has flags. Might be some kind of diplomatic vehicle. Has anyone touched this vehicle since you arrived? No. And that Jacob's bird over there was on station before I got here. We'll talk with him in a moment. Give us some time to look the place over. Sure, take your time. He's a sore-headed old son of a bitch anyway. Nah. Okay, so, okay, right away, lots of questions. Uh, why is only one tire missing, for example? Well, let's start with A. I want to look in the glove box. I mean, that's it. Oh. Missing flag? I'm taking the flag as a souvenir. Can't have any street value. What about the hood ornament? A Packard? I, I wouldn't want to look in the glove box. Can I do that? California Motor Vehicle Registration. It's owned by the Argentinian Embassy. Argentina. Uh, can I tap on it? I'm trying to push an A on it. Chief Department, Consulate General of Argentina. Back in Clipper. That's an expensive car. Registration fee, $15. I, I wanted to tap it because I didn't. T you, I, I, I neglected to tap the other guy's license and it didn't help us. Okay, so wait a second. So I, how did it get in here? Through that alley? Uh, through that alley. It came in that way. Okay. So, B, B is just got, oh, license plate is missing. A tire is missing. Can we get in the glove box, please? Well, I guess we don't need to. We got his, uh... Stealing the wheels is for amateurs. Car ring would have stripped it in a warehouse. Well, yeah, that and a car ring. How do you fence a Packard? I mean, can I look in the glove box? I guess not. How do you. Okay. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is uh, definitely amateur. Empty. Spare tires missing. Okay, you don't, oh, I got something shiny over here. You don't, well, let's see what he's looking at on the way. What's this? A baseball? 
Nothing significant. I'm not even sure what that is. I can't make it out. Whether this is going to help us. Ah. Uh, baseball bats. So, so the children in the area have set up a, um, a baseball diamond. Okay, what I'm saying here. Okay. Whoever stole it did not steal it. It's offensive. For one thing, when I'm to complete my thought on that, and I don't know, I'm not a car thief, never have been. But your customers for a a parted out Packard are gonna be few. I mean that's a very expensive automobile in the day. And you're not going to be able to fence out parts to a legitimate dealership. They're not going to want uh, parts of a Packard. Besides, they would just get it from the dealership. What are we waiting for? Under warranty. Shut up, partner. I'm talking to to my people. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All right, I'll shut up. So I'm just thinking, that's not a wrench. Take the lug nuts off. Property of wrench. Dewey Brothers. Must have used it to remove the wheel lugs. Yeah. Okay. That's a new clue. So, um, all I'm saying is, all of that amounts to a beer bottle. Let's see what this Jacobs guy has to say. The car was dumped in his backyard after all. Goodness. The game tells you what to do, doesn't it? Incidental. And I hear somebody knocking on a door. So, the game is saying it's time to go talk to Jacob. But what I, I want to finish my dang thought. <laughs> I thought that might be a newspaper. Um, which is, if you're going to steal a Packard, you sell the whole Packard. You, you, you get it across state line and... Uh, put new plates on it and you sell the whole thing you don't part it out so why did he take off one tire and a flag and I think those Packards had a uh, hood ornament on them too did we get all this all right they want us to talk to Jacobs okay partner hold on I don't think so yeah, we don't have a violent crime here. We have an interesting crime. Hmm. Let's do this. Oswald Jacobs? That's right. What exactly happened here, Mr. Jacobs? Last night, I was looking out of my window. I like to keep an eye on what's going on. I can understand that. You see this empty lot? Damn kids play stickball here. Oh, Always breaking fart. my windows. Always asking for their ball back. Can we get back to the car, Mr. Jacobs? Don't be impatient, Sonny. Anyway, Don't call last me night sonny. I see this brand spanking new Packard up on bricks. Did you see who stole the Packard? Hell yes, I did. Okay. I saw three goddamn Mexicans oh, going to work on it. Really? <sighs> well, he's telling the truth. I'll go with Can you. Can tell us what they were doing? Using the headlights of an old Ford so they could strip the thing. I yelled out to them, I'll call the cops. So they loaded up their car and drove off, of an old Ford. tooting and hollering and yelling obscenities at me in Mexican. You speak Spanish, sir? No, I <laughs> do not. Okay, uh, Hispanic suspects? After the uh, Mexicans left, you didn't go anywhere near the car? After I scared them off? No, I didn't go anywhere near that car. Ah, uh, he's lying. Look, look, look. A smug look, a mouth moving. Hmm. 
He's lying. Uh, let's look at the notebook. Do I have any proof that he's lying? Missing antenna. Missing license plate. Missing wheel. Okay. Uh, I'm going to accuse him. He, 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 he went up to the car. How do you know there were three of them? It was dark. It must be 50 feet from the kitchen to the car. You telling me I'm lying? Um. R to observe suspect. Uh, yeah. I was wearing my glasses. They had the headlights on. I'd say I was a dang sight more observant than you, son. Okay, I'm not doing too good here. Um, possible suspect. Tell me about the car they were driving. It was an old Ford. I didn't catch the so license. I didn't do well on that, did I? What? An old Ford? Dang it, I was talking. I didn't catch it. Uh, he just told us that he has good eyesight and all of that kind of stuff. Um, I still think he's lying. I'm gonna hit, I'm, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go why? You were drunk and it was dark. What's with the smoke screen about the car, Jacobs? You got better information about that vehicle than I'm giving you? You better use it. I'm about done John with you thick-headed sons of bitches. So I'm about to lose him. What exactly did you see them take? They was working on the tires. I'm doing That's bad. That's all that was took. I don't believe him. I'll go bad cop this time. I'm just trying to put pressure on him. Right. So what did you take, Jacobs? You want my partner to pat you down? I found a notebook in the glove compartment. Aha. I was going to show you. It's on the chair so on my So accusing him was too hard. That's enough for now. Two Remember, four, Jacob, it's yeah, an offense to long. obstruct a criminal investigation. Let's hope you've given us everything. Uh, can we look at the notebook, please? Yeah, I went too hard. I went, I went with, yeah, okay. Press A to investigate. John Madsen, telephone. Okay, so we have the owner of the vehicle, a degenerate. I'll run John Madsen by R and I. Why did he say degenerate? Henry Grove, nice eyelashes. Stanley Mercer, lovely speaking voice. Walter Marshall, good natured. Ben Brown, gentle boy. Teddy Hopper, full lips. Yeah, he's a degenerate. Um, the last one, Christian Pillory, delicate. Danny Marston and jo yeah. William Dewey. Contact That's details on a William Dewey. This looks like business rather than pleasure. And then Gabrielle, angelic features, but feisty. Okay, so William Dewey, that was a name on the ranch. I think we've rung this place dry. Let's find a game well. Ah, uh, but have we? You coming? Find yes. Game well, Phelps. Dang it, they push you. You know, they push you, and, and they don't let you um, do what you want to do. They're a little bit too controlling. Um... I gotta pause and think a little bit. And so I'm gonna pause it so that my partner 
doesn't keep pushing me uh, to get on to the next thing. Because I need to think. Yeah, I don't like that. I don't like that the game. I mean, they're, they're leading you and making it easy for you. But at the same time, they're depriving me of my desire to walk around. Anyway, uh, I'm going to take a break and think here. So, um, well, initial thoughts. I don't know. And I messed up on the interrogation, too. So I'm not going to get quite a good, quite as good of a score as we did on that first one. So they are getting a little more difficult. But I think I'm just... I'm just rushing. I just wanted to. I wanted to keep pressure on that guy, and I, I I hit two two Y's, and I probably should have hit two X's. All right, man. I'm gonna take a break and think. Um, how old are these boys? Did we, did we get ages on them? Can they drive? I don't know. I'll be right back at you, man. I need I need a cup of coffee. Now, I'm just looking at the log here, seeing where I messed up. Um, I'll tell you what, though. We got to think. Um, along the lines of video game, what the video game is telling us. See, because I'm think, because I was originally thinking when I read those names that a parent um, did in this uh, consulate, this pervert. But the video game is telling us there's no violence, and it's setting up the consulate as the bad guy. <clears throat> I mean, we don't have anybody else set up as a bad guy, except. And, 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 but it also is telling us he didn't take the flag, the license plates, the tire. Well, two tires, there's a tire missing out of a trunk. A Packard is going to come with a, with a, with a spare. Uh, this is not a professional, uh, steal the car and strip it thing. So I don't know. I don't know. And um, I don't know where I put my eyeballs. Um, person of interest. Juan Francisco. Okay. Uh, I'll run John Madsen by R&I. Contact details on William Dewey. This looks like a business rather than, rather than play. Or looks like business. I think we've rung this place dry. You coming? Well, let's um, let, let's get my headsets on. Um, uh, oh, the call box. Um, yeah. See, I was thinking like a parent. One, once I read that about the the pervert perverted consulate, and that he's molesting these boys, I was thinking a parent. Like, like maybe the consulate was here uh, picking up one of the boys, but why would he come in a, well, he has diplomatic immunity or something? We got one flag and the other, but we do have a call box and we need to call R&I, uh, I just read. Cole Phelps, badge 1247. How could I help, Detective? Oh, shoot. I'm um, ahead. Could you run the name Dewey Brothers? Possibly a dealership or car mechanics workshop. One moment. Dewey Brothers Packard Dealership. 629. Packard Figaro Dealership. Street. Got it. Can you put me through to Michigan 2458, please? Why? Oh, that's the number to the dealership? Hello, can I help you? LAPD, ma'am. Can I speak to John Madsen, please? He's at school, officer. 
Oh, he was one of the boys. Now, how old is your boy, ma'am? Just turned 16. Wrong person, Mrs. Matson. Sorry to disturb you. Any messages? There's just one message for you, Detective. A four-door Packard diplomatic license number, Paul Robert 706, was reported missing this morning by Juan Francisco Valdez. Could you have him brought in? He's already here at Central, Detective. He's demanding an audience, as he calls it. <laughs> oh, yeah? Thanks. Can you get a message to Captain Leary? Tell him we'll be in as soon as we can. Thanks for your help. Okay, so that answered a couple of questions. Can you cordon off this lot until we have the vehicle impounded? Yes, sir, Detective. So that answers... We'll follow up on the owner. Get a statement from Jacobs, and I'll read your report back at the station. That answers some of my questions. The age of the boy. We can visit the Packard dealership or head back to Central and interview this Valdez character. Um, your call. Uh, how do I bring up my... Uh, um, no. Try to keep up, Stefan. Hold on, hold on. How do I bring up my... Um... My notebook. Um, oh, I got to be close do to the Do your car. job. I'll do mine. And push Y. Um, let's let him drive. I'm holding Y because I want to bring up my notebook. Oh, he gets in the passenger side. You know the way. You can drive. Fine. Where are we headed? Dewey Brothers or Central Police Station are my options. Um, well, they're in this order, and so the video game is pretty much guiding us until... Let's go to Dewey Brothers. Packer dealership. Yeah. This has got to be the 50th abandoned vehicle call we have caught this year. One more, and I'm going to go crazy. Not your favorite cases? You kidding me? This is barely even police work. Of all the bad guys in this city, we get lumped with the ones who can't even be bothered to keep what they steal. <laughs> now, I'll tell you, though. What is this? I'll tell you what, ma'am. I'll take all the cases on corrupt politicians or political people I can get. I just, I hate those guys. And I would love to bust everybody I could. Uh, Don't tell me, let me guess. You were making your way past the lot, caught sight of the new model four-door, and couldn't help yourself. You could see yourself in that car and just had to take a closer look. Salesman. Well, I can't say as I blame you. <laughs> Sleazy. LAPD, Mac. We'd like to speak with the owner. That's me, William Dewey, proprietor at your service. We're investigating the theft of a Packard belonging to the Argentine Embassy. Are you missing a combination wrench? I don't know, Detective, but I know how we can find out. Follow me. Cooperative fellow. This is a pretty cheap Packard dealership looking. Uh, okay. Uh, okay, focus, Mojave, focus. We keep all our tools in here. Mind if we look around? Be my guest. Oh, something vibrated. I got a vibration. Doesn't tell me anything. Okay, put it down. Why did I get a vibration then? sure this means much. Okay. Uh, license plates. But they're all California. No good. We need diplomatic plates. Okay. Well, there's ranches. 
You sure you guys aren't interested in a new car? Huh? Maybe a used car. I have some nice used cars for guys in your wage bracket. Why don't you give us some alone time, Dewey? Go sell some cars or whatever it is. A quarter inch. That's going to be the big one, number one. Oh, down, down, down. That's not right. No, down, I, over here. Wrong size. Right there. 11 sixteenths. Yeah, there's a three quarter inch missing. No, 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 come here. The no. It's pointing right at the half inch. At the half inch. It's the half inch, dude. Gabriel Delgado is missing a three quarter. Well, the license plates could be used to change the license plates on the car if they were going to steal it. But I don't think this is about stealing a car. Can we talk to our partner? Advice? We'll need a full statement from Dewey to put in our report. So... One of his employees grabbed that wrench. If you don't mind, we have a few questions. Association with Valdez. Packards are great cars, but this doesn't look like the kind of place favored by foreign embassies. No. How do you know about this? I don't know Valdez. The embassy bought the car. All I know is he must know a quality car when he sees one. Uh... Let's view the notebook. We have a registration. His notebook. Uh, so we, we can hit him with bad cop. I've had just about enough of you, Dewey. What's the angle with Valdez? The embassy bought the car. When it comes in for service, Valdez picks it up. That's it. Where is Delgado? Where can we find Delgado? I don't know. He sure as hell isn't here. <sighs> He's hiding something. Bad cop. Address, Dewey, or my partner shoves her head in a car door. Okay, all right. Apartment 3, 103 Hill Street. And tell him from me, if he ever shows his face around here again, I'm going to kick his butt from here to kingdom come. Who is Delgado? Wrench used in auto theft. A wrench from this dealership was used to strip the Delgado wheels from the Packard last night, Mr. Dewey. A couple of Hispanics were seen taking parts. We've had a spate of thefts ourselves. Comes with the location. Even bastards to steal anything the minute your back is turned. Okay, he's telling the truth. Good cop. So that's it? Like I said, the workshop's too close to the street. It's difficult to keep an eye on it. We'll be keeping an eye One on of it, three? And spreading the word that you don't like to cooperate with the LAPD. Time to visit Gabriel Delgado. See how good his excuse is. I blew that. I'm not doing too good, guys. Um, I blew that. So there's information that we didn't get from him. Um, uh, where's our car? There's information I did not get. That's why I'm not doing too good here. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. And where exactly are we going? Let's go to Delgado's. 
No, let's not. Because I don't, I don't know who Delgado is. <laughs> I need to look at it. We'll go to the police station and talk to the consulate. You read this story in the Examiner about the Navy developing three-dimensional movies? What's a dimension? What's you know, a dimension? Like a graph. I'm not doing Vertical good axis on this. Why? is throwing me. Well, that's clear as mud. Third dimension would be Z. So things would be popping out of the screen. Not that's as easy ridiculous. as the scare the people out of the theater. God's name would want that. <laughs> I don't know. People scoffed at the idea of talkies and colors. Look what we have now. So the first ones were easy. I guess we're out of the tutorial. Uh, so I don't have all the information I need because I blew it with the first two interrogations. Do we have a Juan Francisco Valdez in for questions? I don't know who Delgado is. Sure I do, go Phelps. Look. Your bird's an in interview, too. And get this. He's wearing gloves and doing his best not to touch anything. Can yeah. you beat that? <laughs> Sounds like we don't want to keep this guy waiting. Yeah, weirdos. Weirdos have other I'm telling you, it'll never um, oddities about them like that, don't they? About time. Are you the senior officer I requested? I'm Detective Phelps, and this is Detective Bukowski. Have you any idea how long I've been waiting to speak with you? I am needed back at the consulate, and you keep me here like a common criminal. All right, friend, let's take a deep breath and start all over again. Mr. Valdez. Counsel General, I insist on my full title. Oh, of course. Packard Purchase History. I don't have enough information. Where did you purchase the car? My secretary and driver arranged the purchase. A disreputable place, a Dewey Brothers by name. As soon as I can have it arranged, I will have my Hispano Suiza brought up from Buenos Aires. LB. Oh, I could have removed those bad answers. I see what intuition is. View notebook. Um... Bad cop. Bought a Packard, Valdez. A snob like you doesn't drive an American car. I want answers or I'll smack you around the teeth. William Dewey offered me a substantial bribe to uh -huh. make a purchase at his establishment. It is not unusual to make this kind of transaction in the civil service. Oh, tell that to the Argentine taxpayers. Theft of consul or consul general. We have located your car. Can you tell us how it was stolen? It must have been stolen from the council garage. Terribly inconvenient, of course. I want the perpetrator soundly flawed. We don't. Unfortunately, do we don't do that here, Your Worship. Oh. <laughs> we don't do that in our country. Oh, I'm gonna. Yeah, look at his face. Man, this is where I need more than just accuse or bad cop. I'm going bad cop. You have a pretty good idea who stole the car, don't you, Consul General? Are you going to tell me, or do I shake it out of you? There's no call for violence. I suspect... A disgruntled boy from the car dealership. So do I. You have a name for this kid? Gabriel. Like the Archangel. I have no surname. Gabriel. Association with Gabriel. So tell us about this kid, Gabriel. You had a run-in with him? Mechanical. A presumptuous young Mechanical. man who did not know his place. He presumed to ask me questions. Well, we do a lot of presuming here in the United States, Consul General comes with the turf. I'm going to accuse him. You fuck young boys, Valdez. Whoa! Whoa! This will cause an international Whoa. incident. 
I didn't expect me to say that. Valdez's notebook. Danny, Ben, Miguel, Tristan, and Teddy. I did it right. Full lips. Ring any bells? I'm sure we can come to some. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. Gabriel, spill it. You pervert. A beautiful but impertinent boy. I mentioned rendezvous and the young man went quite insane. I thought he was going to kill me. I was prepared to pay. We'll be in touch, Consul General. Let's nail this kid Delgado and wrap this thing up. Can we not arrest? Well, what does he have? Diplomatic immunity or something? How does diplomatic immunity work? I don't even know. Uh, I'm telling you, it'll never stick and you'll get roasted. Oh, the, the, the diplomat, uh, the, because of... Finished with Valdez. Thank God. I'll get rid of him. I'm confused. In a couple of hours. A couple of hours. Okay, before we go anywhere... <laughs> I can't believe they said that. I was not when I hit accused. I didn't expect him to say that. You know, oh, wow, he was uh, Cole's blunt, um, but it worked. Uh, okay, I need, I need, I need a few minutes to think. I mean, what I'm thinking. All right, let me think off camera. Um, Gabriel was a mechanic. I didn't find out whether or not he worked for the sleazy car salesman, our owner, Dewey. But now I, I so, but he, that's where the ranch came from. So does Delgado work for Dewey and he borrowed the ranch but then dropped it when that other crusty neighbor guy, crusty old neighbor guy uh, ran him off so he never got to put the ranch back. So our partner is thinking Delgado did this. Did what? And did what? <laughs> Why would he steal the car? Take the flag. And two tires. And a license plate. I don't know. I'm going to... I need... I need I need to think and maybe watch my video back. Uh, the What I've recorded so far because... I don't know why this one is throwing me, but it is. I'll be back. Now, I'm just looking at the log here, seeing where I messed up. Um, I'll tell you what, though. We got to think. Um, along the lines of video game, what the video game is telling us. See, because I'm think, because I was originally thinking when I read those names that a parent. Um, did in this uh, consulate, this pervert. But the video game is telling us there's no violence and it's setting up the consulate as the bad guy. <clears throat> I mean, we don't have anybody else set up as a bad guy except and, and, and but it also is telling us he didn't take the flag the license plates, the tire. Well, two tires. There's a tire missing out of a trunk. A Packard's going to come with a, with a, with a spare. Uh, this is not a professional uh, steal the car, and strip it, 
thing. So I don't know. I don't know. And um, I don't know where I put my eyeballs. Um, person of interest. Juan Francisco. Okay. Uh, I'll run John Madsen by R&I. Contact details on William Dewey. This looks like a business rather than rather than play or looks like business. I think we've wrung this place dry. You coming? Well, let's um let, let's get my headsets on. Um uh, Oh, the call box. Um yeah, see, I was thinking like a parent. Once I read that about the, the pervert, perverted consulate and that he's molesting these boys, I was thinking a parent, like like maybe the consulate was here uh, picking up one of the boys, but why would he come in a, well, he has diplomatic immunity or something? We got one flag and the other, but we do have a call box and we need to call R&I, uh, I just read. Cole Phelps, badge 1247. How could I help, Detective? Oh, shoot, my um, head. Could you run the name Dewey Brothers? Possibly a dealership or car mechanics workshop. Packard dealership. Six two nine. Packard dealership. Got it. Can you put me through to Michigan twenty four fifty eight, please? Why? Connecting you now. Oh, that's the number to the dealership. Hello, can I help you? LAPD, ma'am. Can I speak to John Madsen, please? He's at school, officer. Oh, he was one of the boys. Now, how old is your boy, ma'am? Just turned sixteen. Wrong person, Mrs. Matson. Sorry to disturb you. Any messages? There's just one message for you, Detective. A four-door Packard diplomatic license number, Paul Robert 706, was reported missing this morning by Juan Francisco Valdez. Could you have him brought in? He's already here at Central, Detective. He's demanding an audience, as he calls it. <laughs> oh, yeah? Thanks. Can you get a message to Captain Leary? Tell him we'll be in as soon as we can. Thanks for your help. Okay, so that answered a couple of questions. Can you cordon off this lot until we have the vehicle impounded? Yes, sir, Detective. So that answers... We'll follow some... up on the owner. Get a statement from Jacobs, and I'll read your report back at the station. I'd answer some of my questions. The age of the boy. We can visit the Packard dealership or head back to Central and interview this Valdez character. Um, Your call. Uh, how do I bring up my... Uh, um, Try no. to keep up, Stefan. Hold on, hold on. How do I bring up my... Um, my notebook. Um, oh, I gotta be close do to the car. Do your job. I'll do mine. And push Y. Um, let's let him drive. I'm holding Y because I want to bring up my notebook. Oh, he gets in the passenger side. You know the way. You can drive. Fine. Where are we headed? Dewey Brothers or Central Police Station are my options. Um... Well, they're in this order, and so the video game is pretty much guiding us until... Let's go to Dewey Brothers. Packer dealership. Yeah. This has got to be the 50th abandoned vehicle call we have caught this year. One more, and I'm going to go crazy. Not your favorite cases? You kidding me? This is barely even police work. All the bad guys in this city, we get lumped with the ones who can't even be bothered to keep what they steal. <laughs> now, I'll tell you, though. What is this? I'll tell you what, ma'am. 
I'll take all the cases on corrupt politicians or political people I can get. I just, I hate those guys. And I would love to bust everybody I could. Uh, Don't tell me, let me guess. You were making your way past the lot, caught sight of the new model four door and couldn't help yourself. You could see yourself in that car and just had to take a closer look. Salesman. Well, I can't say as I blame you. <laughs> Sleazy. LAPD, Mac. We'd like to speak with the owner. That's me, William Dewey, proprietor at your service. We're investigating the theft of a Packard belonging to the Argentine Embassy. Are you missing a combination wrench? I don't know, detective. But I know how we can find out. Follow me. Cooperative fellow. This is a pretty cheap Packard dealership looking. Uh, okay. Uh, okay, focus, Mojave. Focus. We keep all our tools in here. Mind if we look around? Be my guest. Oh, something vibrated. I got a vibration. Doesn't tell me anything. Okay, put it down. Why did I get a vibration then? sure this means much. Okay. Uh, license plates. But they're all California. No good. We need diplomatic plates. Okay. Well, there's ranches. You sure you guys aren't interested in a new car, huh? Maybe a used car. I have some nice used cars for guys in your wage bracket. Why don't you give us some alone time, Dewey? Go sell some cars or whatever it is. A quarter inch. That's going to be the big one, number one. Oh, down, down, down. That's not right. No, down, I, over here. Wrong size. Right there. 11 sixteenths. Yeah, there's a three quarter inch missing. Nope, 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 no, come here. The no. I was pointing right at the half inch. At the half inch, it's the half inch, dude. Gabriel Delgado is missing a three-quarter. Well, the license plates could be used to change the license plates on the car if they were going to steal it, but I don't think this is about stealing a car. Can we talk to our partner? Advice? We'll need a full statement from Dewey to put in our report. So, one of his employees grabbed that wrench. If you don't mind, we have a few questions. Association with Valdez. Packards are great cars, but this doesn't look like the kind of place favored by foreign embassies. No. How do you know about this? I don't know Valdez. The embassy bought the car. All I know is he must know a quality car when he sees one. Uh, let's view the notebook. We have a registration. His notebook. Uh, so we, we can hit him with bad cop. Just about enough of you, Dewey. What's the angle with Valdez? The embassy bought the car. When it comes in for service, Valdez picks it up. That's it. 
Where is Delgado? Where can we find Delgado? I don't know. He sure as hell isn't here. <sighs> He's hiding something. Bad cop. Address, Dewey, or my partner shoves her head in a car door. Okay, all right. Apartment 3, 103 Hill Street. And tell him from me, if he ever shows his face around here again, I'm going to kick his butt from here to kingdom come. Who is Delgado? Wrench used in auto theft. A wrench from this dealership was used to strip the Delgado wheels from was. a Packard last night, Mr. Dewey. A couple of Hispanics were seen taking parts. We've had a spate of thefts ourselves. Comes with the location. Even bastards will steal anything the minute your back is turned. Okay, he's telling the truth. Good cop. So that's it? Like I said, the workshop's too close to the street. It's difficult to keep an eye on it. We'll be keeping an eye One on it, Dewey. And spreading the word that you don't like to cooperate with the LAPD. Time to visit Gabriel Delgado. See how good his excuse is. I blew that. I'm not doing too good, guys. Um, I blew that. So there's information that we didn't get from him. Um, uh, where's our car? There's information I did not get. That's why I'm not doing too good here. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. And where exactly are we going? Let's go to Delgado's. No, let's not. Because I don't, I don't know who Delgado is. <laughs> I need to look at it. We'll go to the police station. And talk to the consulate. You read this story in the Examiner about the Navy developing three-dimensional movies. What's a dimension? What's you know, a dimension? Like a graph. I'm not doing Vertical good on this. Why? It's what is throwing me? Well, that's clear as mud. Third dimension would be Z. So things would be popping out of the screen. Not that's as easy ridiculous. as the you scare the first people one. out of the theater. God's name would want that. I don't know. People scoffed at the idea of talking in color. So look what we have now. So the first ones were easy. I guess we're out of the tutorial. Uh, so I don't have all the information I need because I blew it with the first two interrogations. Do we have a Juan Francisco Valdez in for questions? I don't know who Delgado is. Sure I do, go Phelps. Look. Your bird's an in interview, too. And get this. He's wearing gloves and doing his best not to touch anything. Can yeah. you beat that? <laughs> Sounds like we don't want to keep this guy waiting. Yeah, weirdos. Weirdos have other I'm telling you, it'll never um, oddities about them like that, don't they? About time. Are you the senior officer I requested? I'm Detective Phelps, and this is Detective Bukowski. Have you any idea how long I've been waiting to speak with you? I am needed back at the consulate, and you keep me here like a common criminal. All right, friend, let's take a deep breath and start all over again. Mr. Valdez. Counsel General, I insist on my full title. Oh, of course. Packard purchase history. I don't have enough information. Where did you purchase the car? My secretary and driver arranged the purchase. A disreputable place, a Dewey Brothers by name. As soon as I can have it arranged, I will have my Hispano Suiza brought up from Buenos Aires. Um, LB. Oh, I could have removed those bad answers. I see what intuition is. View notebook. Um, 
bad cop. What, a Packard, Arles? A snob like you doesn't drive an American car. I want answers or I'll smack you around the teeth. William Dewey offered me a substantial bribe uh -huh. to purchase at his establishment. It is not unusual to make this kind of transaction in the civil service. Oh, tell that to the Argentine taxpayers. Theft of consul our Consul people. General, we have located your car. Can you tell us how it was stolen? It must have been stolen from the consul garage. Terribly inconvenient, of course. I want the perpetrator soundly flawed. We don't. Unfortunately, do we don't do that here, Your Worship. Oh. <laughs> we don't do that in our country. Oh, I'm gonna. Yeah, look at his face. Man, this is where I need more than just accuse or bad cop. I'm going bad cop. You have a pretty good idea who stole the car, don't you, Consul General? Are you going to tell me, or do I shake it out of you? There's no call for violence. I suspect a disgruntled boy from the car dealership. So do I. You have a name for this kid? Gabriel, like the Archangel. I have no surname. Gabriel. Association with Gabriel. So tell us about this kid, Gabriel. You had a run-in with him? Mechanical. A presumptuous young Mechanical. man who did not know his place. He presumed to ask me questions. Well, we do a lot of presuming here in the United States, Consul General. It comes with the turf. I'm gonna accuse him. You fuck young boys, Valdez. Whoa! Right, Batman, this will cause an international Whoa. incident. I didn't expect me to say that. Valdez's notebook. Danny, Ben, Miguel, Tristan, and Teddy. I did it right. Full lips. Ring any bells? I'm sure we can come to some. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. Gabriel, spill it. You pervert. A beautiful but impertinent boy. I mentioned rendezvous and the young man went quite insane. I thought he was going to kill me. I was prepared to pay. We'll be in touch, Consul General. Let's nail this kid Delgado and wrap this thing up. Can we not arrest? Well, what does he have? Diplomatic immunity or something? How does diplomatic immunity work? I don't even know. Uh, I'm telling you, it'll never stick and you'll get roasted. Oh, the, the, the diplomat, uh, the, because of... Finished with Valdez. Thank God. I'll get rid of him. I'm confused. In a couple of hours. Okay, before we go anywhere. <laughs> I can't believe they said that. I was not when I hit accused, I didn't expect him to say that. You know. Oh, wow, he was uh Cole's blunt. Um but it worked. Uh Okay, I need I need I need a few minutes to think. I mean what I'm thinking All right, let me think off camera. Um Gabriel was a mechanic. I didn't find out whether or not he worked for the sleazy car salesman, our owner, Dewey. But now I, so, but he, that's where the ranch came from. So does Delgado work for Dewey? And he, 
borrowed the wrench, but then dropped it when that other crusty neighbor guy, crusty old neighbor guy, uh, ran him off. So he never got to put the wrench back. So our partner is thinking Delgado did this. Did what? And did what? <laughs> Why would he steal the car? Take the flag and two tires and a license plate. I don't know. I'm gonna. I need. I need. I need to think and maybe watch my video back. Uh, the what I've recorded so far because I don't know why this one is throwing me, but it is. I'll be back. Okay, so I watch my stuff back. And, um, yeah, I didn't do well on the questioning, so I'm missing information. But the reason I didn't know Delgado until, so it's Gabriel Delgado. So he's the Gabriel that he's talking about up, up there, um, who he said was um, angelic but feisty or something like that. Um So we're going, and my partner. You can drive. Thanks. All right. Where to? 103 Hill Street, apartment three, Gabrielle. Uh, thinks that Gabrielle stole a car. And I think I agree with my partner. But why? Um. I don't, I'm, I don't know. I don't see a motive. Well, if this guy was molesting him. Okay, let's see what Gabriel has to say for himself. I just hope our archangel hasn't already flown. Oh, get ready for a foot race. We're gonna have to chase him. What the hell is this guy doing? Who said that? Hmm. Uh, so, uh, the old crusty fart it said there were several of them. I mean, is, is Gabriel in a gang? I, I don't know. Okay, we got letters on the floor. Video game helping us. Gabriel Delgado. Here he is, apartment three. Right on. The video game is guiding me here. Um making it easy i don't know if i like that i don't know if it's i feel like maybe too much hand holding uh three well it's right there right at the top of the stairs good grief knock how do i knock so what next i'm pushing buttons oh she's pregnant yes lapd ma'am we're looking for Gabriel Delgado. Gabriel? We're from the police. Policia, you understand? Yes, I understand. Could you come inside? Okay. What is your name? Ana Rodriguez. Is Gabriel Delgado here, Ms. Rodriguez? No. What do you want with Gabriel? Is he in trouble? Stay where you are, Ms. Rodriguez. We need to take a look around. But he is not here. I have told you. Check out the surrounds. I'll stay with the broad. She, <laughs> the broad. Uh, she seems to be telling the truth. So how far along are you, Anna? Nearly 20 weeks. Right. So how's it going to be when you go into labor and he's not around? You are wrong about Gabriel. He will be a good father. Already he works hard to provide for us. Unless you help us here, Anna, your little one won't be seeing Papa for a very long time. Um, oh, there's a flag. Oh. Help. All 
right, so he did it. <clears throat> and his uh, <clears throat> his woman is pregnant. They he did, they didn't say they were married. Um. Whoa. Oh, anyway. Small apartment. Um. Kitchen. So he's here. He's hiding. Oh. I got a vibration. Serving breakfast for two, uh -huh. Anna. You should have cleared up. He's here. I don't get to uh, select anything. Um. Okay. Yeah, he's here. Ah. Uh, got the flag. Where is he? Back door. Get ready to run. Get um, in the garage. He's in the garage. Get ready. We're gonna go on a foot race here. Get ready. Get me ready. Uh, our uh, uh, RT. Magnifying glasses. I've never done that. I didn't know you could do that. So there's clues in here. <laughs> sure is. There's the tires. Oh, but he's not in here. I was Looks like Valdez gets his wheel back. License plate. Yeah, he's a mechanic. I don't think he's in a gang. I mean, he, like she said, he's, I believe her, she, he's hard work, up vibration. All right, there he goes, diplomatic plates. Diplomatic license plates. The other clues are up in the house. There's two more clues up in the house. Wow, I didn't know you had that assist. That's a pretty nice assist. Okay, he wasn't in here. I was expecting him to be hiding. Take us on a wild run. What is, is this? I can't go that way. Okay, I was gonna go check that door. It wouldn't even let me. Yeah, a little too much um, guiding here. For my liking. Um, something else here? It won't let me uh, finger anything. Um, Trigonator? Is it the fridge? No, it keeps going back here. Um, okay, there's stuff I'm not seeing. Oh, I got a vibration. It's difficult to tell whether it's the suspect vehicle from the scene. It certainly gave real pride and joy. Uh, didn't he say they were using the lights from a Ford? Circumstantial. Jorge, Nino, Nina. Circumstantial. I was trying to get into this door, but I can't. I cannot open that door. Uh, Clue in here? We've already seen it. So it just, it, it shows you all clues, even if you've already seen them, obviously. 
So now that that magnifying glass should disappear. And oh wait a minute, there's something here. You're in serious trouble, Miss Rodriguez. But Gabriel is not here. I have done nothing wrong. Let's go to motive. Why did he steal the car, Anna? The customer insulted him. Aha. Uh -huh. He has his honor, no? Ah. Uh -huh. They're just being honest. Good, uh, good cop. His honor, Anna? He said Dewey's friend tried to make a woman out of him. Uh -huh. He no longer uh -oh. respects this man, Dewey. He took the car to show this maricon, maricon that he is a man. Last contact with Gabriel. Tell us the truth, Anna. Has Gabriel been here? I haven't seen him for at least three nights. We know that's not true. We know that's not true. But here's where it gets weird. Bad cop or accuse? We can accuse her of lying. I mean, we've it's breakfast for two. I mean, he he was here just a little bit ago. We got flat. We got the flag. We got the tires. I can accuse her. You keep lying to me, and I'll send you and your baby to jail. Oh no. He lives here, but he hasn't come home. I swear it. She's still lying. Breakfast plates. Enough, Anna. There are signs all over this place that he's been back. He was here last night. I have never seen him so angry. He went out to his shed and put some things in it. I don't know what and I don't want to know. I love him. I believe her. <laughs> Diplomatic plates recovered. We found a license plate matching our stolen vehicle in the shed. Add in the assortment of parts, and we can make Gabriel for a dozen other thefts. It's time to get serious, Anna. You must ask these questions of Gabriel. I know nothing of these car parts. She's lying again. Oh. Man. Ah. Uh. Bad cop. Then tell us where he is. If your baby is born in prison, Anna, the corrections officers will take it from you. You will see your son or daughter through a metal grate for half an hour a week. The start line is on First and Santa Fe. Start line? There is a spillway <clears throat> under the bridge that leads to the river. Start line? Many policia have wrecked trying to follow. Him. Oh, ho, 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 ho. The race is in the uh we'll the put aqueduct, word for you, Anna. As far as we're concerned, this sits with Gabriel. <sighs> that Star has line. gone on for That sounds like a street race to me. Decades. It's gotten out of hand this last year. No wonder Delgado has such an eye for fine automobiles. We know where the kid is. Let's go stop these clowns well, and get I've them off the street. I've got one more piece of information here that it, it, I've got a magnifying glass that I'm not getting. Ah, we've already done that. That magnifying glass is telling me there's something that I haven't picked up. I'm not sure I like the magnifying glass thing. Okay, no, no, get away from there. All right, um... Man, I don't want her to have to go to jail when she's pregnant. Um, and she's an accessory. Uh, accessory. Accessory to... Uh, is there anything else we can do here? Uh, can we talk to her anymore? Please leave. You have what you need. All right. <sighs> you 
Yeah, the drag races. I mean, they even depicted that in, uh, what was the name of that uh, movie? Um, Grease. Uh, you know, they would go down and have their drag races in the uh, the aqueduct. Well, I guess they call it a river, but they, they concreted it. It's got the concrete um, walls and all that. Uh, you know, it's, it's it's concreted up and the river flows through. It's really like for overflow, uh, flood flood control. Um, You're behind the wheel. Uh, where are we going? Illegal street race. Corner of Santa Fe and Banning. What kind of man leaves his pregnant girlfriend at home while he goes off to play cars? Pregnant girlfriends aren't always a barrel of laughs. Everyone needs to let off a little steam. Some guys wouldn't come back home at all. Are you talking from experience? Oh, oh no. I should have been driving. Oh, That's I am driving. Ford. That's still got him right there. They want, yeah, yeah. Okay, they want me to catch him in a race. Okay, fine. And they switch. They switch. Quick, they're getting away. They switch me to drive. Phelps, 1247, requesting assistance at First and Santa Fe. Reports of an illegal. So I'm going full throttle. Get out of my way. Stay on the bottom. Get the way. Whoa. Lose him. I'm stuck. Quick as we shut one of these races down, another one springs up. Oh, crap. <laughs> okay. They're they're running interference for him. That's the one we want. There's the red Ford. That's still got him right there. All right, I'm gunning it. I mean, I've got it all so far. Quick, they're getting away. Stay away from that black car. Requesting assistance at First and Santa Fe. Reports of an illegal street race. Stay on till got it. I'm trying. He's getting away. That's that black lose car. him. I'm not gonna lose him. Oh no! Quick as we shut one of these races down, another one springs up somewhere else. Kids used to steal cars to sell them. Now they just want to wrap them around a lamp post. The next 16-year-old oh, man is off the sidewalk. I've had enough of those to last me a lifetime. Wow. Oh, I'm screwed. Okay. Wow, okay. <laughs> now I know why you guys wanted me to practice driving. He's got all these guys running There's the red for it, though, doesn't he? Right there. Okay. Away. Wow. Phelps, 1247. Requesting assistance at first at Santa Fe. Reports of an illegal street race. Stay on Delgado. Try. Quick as we shut one of these races down, another one springs up somewhere It's a black car again. Kids used to steal cars to sell them. He's trying to just want to run around the place. The next 16-year-old I have to peel off the sidewalk. You're Enough games, Phelps. Take this guy out. I'm trying to catch him. Delgado is our boy. Forget the others. He's getting away. Oh, no. You're gonna lose him. Look out, people. Oh. Okay. Well, <laughs> I I can't I can't kill people. Oh, this is terrible. There's the red Ford. That's still got him right there. Okay. Quick, they're getting away. Phelps, 1247, requesting assistance at first at Santa Fe. Reports of an illegal street race. Stay on Delgado. Quick as we shut one of these races down, another one springs up somewhere else. 
Kids used to steal cars to sell them. Now they just want to wrap them around a lamppost. The next 16 year old I have to peel off the sidewalk, you're calling me. I've had enough of those to last me a lifetime. Damn it! I'm doing so good. <laughs> okay. I was laying back a little bit that time. There's the red Ford. That's still got him right there. <laughs> ah, here we go, man. All right. Focus. Quick! They're getting away! Phelps, 1247. Requesting assistance at first at Santa Fe. Reports of an illegal street race. Stay on Delgado. Try. Enough games, Phelps. Take this guy out. Games? Quick as we shut one of these races down, another one springs up somewhere else. The kids used to steal cars to sell them. Now they just want to wrap them around a lamppost. The next 16-year-old I have to peel off the sidewalk, you're calling them. I've had enough of those to last me a lifetime. No. No. Elgato is our boy. Forget the others. He's turning up here. He's getting away. I'm on him. I'm on him. You're gonna lose him. No, I'm not. I got him. We're in the aqueduct now. Oh, Lord. Lay into his wheel arches. Come on. Try. Step on it, Phil. Take him out. Try. Stepping on it. No. No, oh, just missed. No. Enough games, Phelps. Take this guy out. Games? You think I'm playing games here? Oh, God damn it, Cole, hold it steady. Oh, crap. Did we kill him? How come I can't get out of the car? Why? There's a why. Gabriel Delgado, you're under arrest for Grand Theft Whew. Auto. Grand Theft Auto? They had to get oh, that you in puto. there. You should speak to him, maricon. Valdez, I showed him. Now who's a man? I should have burned his fucking car. He showed him? <clears throat> this was a machismo thing? Where he wanted to... You got a foreign dignitary outed as a fruit and a kitty raper. Car dealer, we're gonna let slide for the kickbacks, and a street punk car thief for sure as hell won't be taking liberties with other people's autos again anytime. That's soon. the end of it. That detective Phelps is not a bad haul. You keep your chin low and your hands. Oh, I thought on, I you did keep terrible. Keep me clearances just like that one. That's textbook policing, and we no, need more of it. I did Mr. not Parker. do textbook. That was awful. But uh, okay, what's my score? It's gonna be bad. I, I was I was lost throughout most of that. Sixteen of seventeen answers on Mr. Clue. Nine of thirteen questions. Vehicle damage thirty dollars. City damage fifty. No injuries. Woo. Argentinian consul Juan Valdez gets his Packard back, almost in one piece. Case closed, distinguished, four star. I guess, um, yeah, that that one had me. Uh, I couldn't figure it out. You have any plans for weekend liberty, Jack? My sisters have been working in Los Angeles in a bomber factory. They're coming down to visit. I'm meeting them at the station at six. Good for you, Jack. Are they cute? They're my sisters, Hank. Attention! <laughs> Final inspection before liberty. Flashback. Good job, Kelso.
Are we going somewhere, gentlemen? Full inspection. It had better be exceptional if any of you want liberty this weekend. Kelso, this carbine. The bore is dirty. No, it, no, it isn't. isn't. Are you arguing with me, Kelso? Do what you yeah, need to do, Sergeant. Just... You know the bore is immaculate. Weekend liberty canceled. <coughs> Two-day field oh, drill. Okay. Clean this rifle. No. Do you know the penalty for insubordination, Kelso? Jack, don't do it. Forget him, Hank. He doesn't have what it takes. Are you two finished? Are you going to clean this rifle? He doesn't know. He doesn't need it. No, Sergeant. Cole is right. I'm going to stop playing games and join a rifle company and fight the real enemy. Wow. So... What was the sergeant's problem? A marriage made in heaven. Okay, but uh, can I review? Can I look at... Oh! We have a murder case. Our first murder case? Why would it go to traffic? All right, gentlemen, I just got this handed to me. A hit-and-run felony at Ray's Cafe, 208 North Los Angeles. Got a patrolman on site. The coroner's on his way. Get down there. See if you can find any witnesses who can put a make on the car. Yeah, I'm thinking of moving up to a 45. I want to put him down one round. Mouthpiece torch strips off me at the grand run, jury. Victim. Case was thrown Why? out. Why is this? Now the DA wants my head. I like that we start, you know, in the, in the morning meeting. I, I, I really like that. I know I said that already, but I do. Um... Why are we getting this case if this is... Oh, it's hit and run, so it's not a murder case. Yet. Radio? Want another commendation? You drive, partner. Can you drive to this one? Yeah, I suck at it. Oh, it's nighttime. Um, I need to pause. I need to... Looks like the DA is going to press charges. Anna Rodriguez might do time. I'll speak to the DA. She suffered enough. Yes. Mm, I don't know, Cole. She's an easy make, and the DA likes convictions. Well, we gotta... I'll over. convince him to let it go. Wow. How do you do that? I'll give him something better. Excellent. I like Cole. Um, but, man, I'm still, I'm still hung up on that last case, so I need to pause and put it in my head. I need closure on that last one before I go on to another one. Let me think. Oh dear. Lots of people we need to talk to, obviously. The game is telling us. Detectives, over here. Cole Phelps, traffic. What have we got? Dick is a white male named Lester Patterson. Walked out of the bar and into the street. Car hit over there and he ended up here. Dead on impact by the look of it. Have you canvassed the area? The only one with anything useful to contribute is the young lady over there. She lives above the bar. Her name is Shannon Perry. No, it's not a stage name. 24 years old, she left Kansas to follow the Yellow Brick Road. Is that so? Uh, we'll take a formal oh, statement later. Now. Right now we're going to take a look around. You think I'm hitting on her? Um, okay, before I do this, like I say, I need, I need to get close. Oh, there's no way. Uh, there's no way. Okay, now, I have responded to a separate, uh, quite a few accidents. Careful where you step in. When I was... I don't come down to the station house and tap dance on your desk. Uh, with, with the ambulance company and training to be an EMT, um, this is too much blood. No, no, this doesn't happen. From a collision like that... Uh, Okay, something wrong here. Uh, where's the skid marks? Do we have skid marks? We have, oh, really short skid marks, but we do have them. Um, so... So the driver managed to break before the impact. Yes. Is there anything else I can do with that? It's not letting me break away from it. Uh, oh, I gotta hit B to break away from it. Uh, yeah, there's something very, very suspicious about this. You got it. Uh, no, 
No, you wouldn't have this. I mean, uh, we reported and, uh, you know, first on the scene at some pretty gruesome um, accidents. Um, Phelps, you should take a look at the body. The poor guy didn't stand a chance. Uh, ended on his face and ended up here. The car must have struck him from behind. But then he's got all this blood on the front. Something fishy here. Lester Patterson, North Hope Street. Dear Mr. Patterson, it is with great pleasure that we acknowledge the receipt of your application 14F uh, military. Uh, and pre approval has been granted to raise the weekly premium of your life insurance policy from $370 per week to $590 per week. This raise became effective on January 1st, 1947. Where. Our standard veteran care policy entitled you to a lump sum payout of 10000 in the event of your untimely death or permanent incapacitation. This new policy guarantees a sum of 16000 What the f... Somebody wrote that on there in red. We at California Fire and Life thank you and wish you good health. Uh, so... Here we have a life insurance. Yes, that's life insurance. Curtis Benson, Vice President, Life Insurance, signs it. Somebody is surprised by the by this. Um, upset. It was expecting more. Lester is his name. But look, look, look. Oh, wait a second. Open that jacket back up. Open the jacket back up. He was injured in the front. And back. Uh, it didn't really show us much. It was so quick. And I'm still... I still don't have closure on the last one. Ah, uh, can we look at the other arm? Okay. Looks like that's it for that. What have you got on the victim? From all reports, he was intoxicated at the time of the accident. I'll know how intoxicated once I've done the autopsy. Looking him over now, I'd say he died on impact. What about the chest wound? Isn't that inconsistent? Very common in auto injuries. Look for a car with a prominent hood ornament. Those things are killers. Uh, this doesn't... I'm just telling, I mean, I don't know. I mean, this video game stuff. Uh, Body travels a good 20 feet. Okay. I'm not sure what the significance of that would be. Um, but, we already looked at B. This blood is a long way from the body. What car must have been going? Find anything that interesting? To hell. What blood? What blood? What did he say? I, I, and why? I can't even see him. He found blood a long way from the body. Yeah, right here. It's hard to see. Um. So he came out here. He came out of the alley, right? Was it on this side? Did 
Then why is there blood back here? Okay, so brakes, bang. Never the same. Where's the uh, witness? There she is. Oh, the bar. So he was, they say, uh, people said he was drinking. But he, okay, so did he stumble out here? Or from the alley? Vibrations. There you go. Oh. Somebody's stuck in. I can't zoom in. A knife covered in blood. It'd be a steak knife. This is a hit and run case, Phelps. Anyone could have thrown away a kitchen knife. No. In any case, we'll want tech services to scrub the alleyway before they bag the knife. This doesn't pertain to the case. And we get another spark plug. They like the... Not everything here is going to be relevant. Yeah, so, and then we've got this thing too that was at the baseball field. Um, so he was in the alley. And he got, he got stabbed. Junk. Um. The game isn't giving us any clues from the back. You know, like uh, a light flashing in the window, like on the very first uh, case. Or uh, that's what I'm looking for is, well, we, we don't need to look through this stuff. We found, okay, because, well, LB, show all clues. Uh, it's like a cheat sheet. Um. It's a game, a video game. We're sent out on a hit and run, but we just discovered that it is a murder. Uh, that's what we just discovered. Let's go to this one. We missed something over here. Yeah, um, what was what concerning me was all this blood. Um, you would not see another that day, much blood dollar. streaking like that in that kind of a accident. IRL. Is that his hat? Was he wearing a hat? Okay, that's just pointing me to this. We've already done this. But look, look at right there. See the, the gash? I see it again. If I could freeze it. Oh, yeah, okay, that's a puncture wound. I get it could have been done by a hood ornament, but he was bleeding heavily back here. Uh, the hood ornament, if the hood ornament did it, you'd get a little bit of splat here. But all of this. He was already bleeding heavily for that to happen. Um, let me check. Oh, well, there's nothing to find. I mean, it's all yours, detective. It's not like anybody's gonna uh, ditch a murder weapon or, or anything. Miss Perry? Yes? Except for that knife. I'm Detective Phelps. This is my partner, Detective Bukowski. 
eyewitness report. Can, Can you tell us what happened? Well, I came to the window because I heard people arguing downstairs. I, I believe her. Then what happened? I saw a car hit that poor man and knock him down the street. Suspect vehicle description? What kind of car was it? A dark red Lincoln Continental. I believe her. Did you see the license plate? Only the first three letters, I'm afraid. Three, C, eight. She's telling the truth. Argument overheard? Tell me more about the argument you heard. Well, there were two voices. A man and a woman. That's all. Okay, she's... Okay, we need to, uh, bad copper here, I think. Why are you holding out on us, Miss Perry? I'm sorry. I was hoping to tell my story to the newspaper. Oh, okay. I'd like to get my picture in the paper. I'm trying to find work as an actress, and See how she things was are pretty difficult. Playing with Cough it up, sister. We don't have all nights. People arguing? They were husband and wife. I could tell by what she was yelling. Intimate things. Very embarrassing for the man. Okay, I believe her. Thank you, Miss Perry. Your information has been very helpful. You can go now. You really think so? I hope you find that driver and put him away. His shoe wants to uh, Certainly be Certainly got away with the dames, Phelps. <laughs> Give it a rest, Bukowski. Let's see what the patrons have to say. Okay, but I need a break. Um, I'll take the bartender. You work the rest of the room. I press X to talk. Now I'm, I'm Detective break. Phelps of the LAPD. How can I help, Detective? Name would be a good start. Dudley Lynch. Hired help. I run the place when the owner ain't around. Seems like Where a nice is the enough owner? guy? He stepped out. Somebody had to take Lorna Mrs. Patterson home. Aha. Hit and run incident. So he slipped what up. What can right you tell there. me about the accident? Not a lot. It was busy in here, and all I heard was the impact. Why would you call Mrs. Patterson? by her first name. He's hiding something. Bad so cop. what was he doing outside? It's, it's against it. licensing regulations to drink on the sidewalk. Lester and Lorna were having a fight. The owner made him take it outside. Now he says Lorna. It's pretty ugly. Lester. Association with the victim. Do you know the victim? Yeah. Lester Patterson. He's a regular here, or he was. I believe you. Not one of your favorite customers. Lester was special, but not my kind of special. Was Lester drinking alone? No. He came here with his wife. Wife? She didn't seem too interested in the booze, though. Who's his wife? Argument overheard in a bar. A witness overheard an argument. Lester and Lorna. There's nothing like airing okay. your dirty laundry in public, is there? Something he's not telling us. I'm going bad cop. Why was Lorna Patterson in such a hurry to leave? What is going on here? Lorna was pretty upset, so Leroy took her home. Who's Leroy? Lorna and Leroy are close. Oh, God. They've been talking about the bar. Leroy. Leroy Sabo. The owner. Owner? Oh, okay. Joint business venture? How long have Lorna and Leroy been talking about this new bar? Uh, who knows? Bar. I just served the drinks. What new bar? How did we get to a new bar? Uh, bad cop. Bartenders hear all sorts of things. Are you going to tell me, or do we have to start playing rough? When Lester was drinking, he treated Lorna like dirt. He gambled away all their money. Lorna pitched Leroy about the bar. I don't know how interested he is. Is Leroy doing well? <laughs> Hell no. The only thing keeping this place afloat are the poker games. Thanks for your help, Lynch. I'm going to need you to sign a statement with the patrolman. Sure, no I problem. I feel like I didn't get everything out of here. Did you get anything out of the regulars? They weren't giving too much away. They liked watching Lester and Lorna go a few rounds every other day. And Lester was a fan of the love tap. The love tap. 
real happiness is when you marry a girl for love and you find out later she's got money. Poker game in the back. Well, I've got clues up. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna use that anymore. A to use a telephone. Why? Why would I do that? Operator, message for KGPL. Putting you through now. Why did I do this? I don't know. Phelps badge twelve forty seven. How could I help, Detective? I need to run a partial license plate. Oh, okay. Charles eight. Cross check possible Lincoln uh -huh. owners. Suspect right. vehicle is a red Lincoln Continental. Just a moment, Detective. Only one possible make on that license. Registered Only to one. William Shelton. Well, that makes it easy. West Temple Street. Thank you. Okay. Looks like we caught a break on this one. Yeah. Um. So this is why everybody comes to raise. Poker. But nobody's here. And there aren't any clues here. I'm gonna turn off that 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 clue assist that gives you the magnifying glasses because that's that makes it way too easy. Um, where's this go? Open it, please. Well, we don't need to go up here. We don't. We don't need to. Uh... Can he jump? He can. Okay. I mean, we've got the knife. Somebody, uh, he was, all that blood uh, is the telltale sign um, for an accident like that. Um, I mean, he was already hemorrhaging big time. So, we need to find out if he was drunk or if he was just staggering uh, with his last ounce of strength after being... Um, stabbed by a butcher knife you know that's a good what 10 inch butcher knife I mean that that punctured his lung probably both lungs um, so he could have just been struggling and fighting for his life yeah look at that thing blood is uh, just as fresh as the blood over here. So they made that really easy for us. Um, I mean, we, I keep getting vibrations, but it's just for his body, I'm sure. Yeah, but I want to take another look at this. Um, okay, take a quick look when I open it, because it goes real fast, and you can see the puncture. But of course, they're trying to throw us off and say it was done by a hood ornament. Was it possible? But not when you have the knife there, and it's a video game, and the game gives you a bloody knife like that. Uh, okay, he was stabbed first. We know that. 
This is a crime scene. All of you move along. That is not what I wanted to say. Perimeter is up. The whole place is contained. Okay. So that's everything we can get here. Let's talk to the corner. Okay, so he came. He didn't come out of the alley. He came out of the bar. So he got stabbed in the bar. There would be a ton of witnesses. There would be a ton of witnesses. I'm not doing that intuition thing again. I don't like it. Sorry, Phelps. Do you mind if I get on with this? I don't mind. Um, so... Okay, so if my theory's right, there would be blood in here. So he didn't get stabbed in the bar. Okay, he's not bleeding here. He is not bleeding here. So after they stabbed him, whoever stabbed him, ran down this way, and stash the knife in the garbage. So where did he get stabbed? So if he, mm, this doesn't make, okay, a little tricky. Can't get that. Okay, so he comes out of the bar. He's staggering if he's been drinking. Maybe he's waiting to cry, he, and then he gets jumped. No parking. Cut prices. <laughs> um, yeah, he gets cut. So he got stabbed. And staggered out here and got clobbered. So he's got a big gash in his side. Punctured lung. Possibly even the heart. But even then, there shouldn't be this much blood. I mean, this much blood makes it sound like he was all—he was hemorrhaging way before this. I don't know. Okay, man, I need to take that break that I wanted to take 20 minutes ago and still get closure over the, the last case. And uh, what are we doing at this, oops, at this point? Um, All right, let me let me take my break, cause my head was still sp on the the previous case, and that just wrapped up so fast and so neatly after completely uh, confusing me. Well, not confusing me, but I didn't know I couldn't figure it out, and I was misreading the people. But it wrapped up so fast, and it really uh, clean and easy. If I had just, uh, you know, got a got a mental hold on what was going on, I didn't. I feel like I have a real good mental hold on what's going on in this one. But uh, smoke them if you got them. I'm gonna have a cup of coffee and try to uh, sharpen up my brain. But I got a. I think I have a great hold on what's going on here. Obviously. Um, I mean, in real life, you would have a lot more doubts, you know, about the knife, just like his partner said, hey, it could have been, somebody could have been, you know, could have butchered a, a cow or something, you know, been cutting up meat. But why, in that case, would they throw the knife away? You don't throw that knife away. You just wash it and use it again. So the game is telling us that he was murdered by the, with that knife. All right, man, I'll be right back in a few minutes.
Okay, um, I'm back. Uh, so this one is just a matter of finding out uh, who stabbed him. Um, no restaurant worker is going to throw a knife away like that. You know, it's because it's got blood on it. And so he, he was stabbed. And we have a love triangle. So, um, I mean, that's easy. Now, with the what's hard is knowing, um, <laughs> you know, good cop, bad cop, accused. That's the hard part. <laughs> All right, where, where are we going? Uh, we're going somewhere. I'm not going to use that intuition thing unless I get really lost. And I, I don't think I'm lost. I think I got it right to this point. That's not our car. Get up. <laughs> okay, let's talk. Stand up. I thought that was our car. Is that not my car? Our, is our car across the street? Ah. Uh, okay, I need to uh, see what our options are uh, to go and talk to. Well, obviously, we need to talk to the owner and the deceased uh, wife. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. So, where do you want to go? Well, we could just go right here and talk to the wife. That's where we should go. I, well, let's go to Ray's Cafe. Let's follow it in the way the game is leading us. This is the place. Oh. Uh, it's... Where? What's the... Why did it... Okay. It, it, now the game's confusing the hell out of me. Oh, Ray's Cafe. Well... So maybe I didn't ask all the questions from this guy. You need to take this up with Leroy. Oh, shrink to the stars. Another one of these. Promises mental breakthrough. Dr. Harlan Fontaine, a.k.a. Micah. Um... Hollywood elite taken with unconventional therapies. <laughs> Test subjects show dramatic improvement. Courtney, come in. Have a seat. Thanks, Doctor. How are you finding working at the clinic? It's, um... Uh... Fine. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Are you sure? Can I be honest with you, Doctor? I would hope so, Courtney. I was hoping that the therapy would be more beneficial. Treatment can, unfortunately, be very long-term. So many of the patients here are addicts, Doctor. Addicts. Many of them have been for years, Courtney. In the past, these people were condemned in sanatoriums. We can reveal the root of the problem. Then we have a chance to help them. And until then, they stay sedated? Do I detect a hint of reproach, Courtney? I was expecting more, Doctor. I'm sorry. I don't mean to criticize. Part of being a physician, Courtney, is learning to be patient. How is it possible to keep so many of them on their medications, Doctor? Many of their addictions are illegal. Oh, many things in life are gray, Courtney. Mm. What may on the surface mm. appear to be illegal is actually a benefit to society at large. Mm. Mm. Okay, we need to go uh, talk to the... Uh members of the love triangle. Well, it's not a triangle anymore. They killed one of them. 
So the wife You can drive. That's, that's <laughs> Do we know where we're going? Mrs. Patterson. You did your husband dirty. But it sounds like he was uh, physically abused her. And we still have to talk to the hit and run guy, but we don't know. Or gal. We don't know who the. Ooh. Yes? Hello? This is Patterson. Is this about my husband? We're investigating the incident, ma'am. I see. Well, she Come doesn't in, seem too upset. Can you tell me what happened? What's to tell? He got hit by a car and now he's dead. Oh, boy. You don't appear to be too upset about the fact. Lester and I met on a furlough in 44. We got married that weekend. People don't understand it now, but that happened a lot back then. I see. So you probably did well to stick it out this long. What's that supposed to mean, mister? Exactly what it sounds like. I think like. it's about time you left. I have someone here. I beg I... your pardon? Someone. You're going to have to run that one by us again, sister. Here. It's okay, Lorna. Aha. I'm Leroy Sabo. Well, well. Nice to see you're comforting the grieving widow, Mr. Sabo. All right, wise guy. She's nervous. Do you have any intelligent questions you would like me to answer? You can confirm Mrs. Patterson's story. Lester lost at cards. He was kind of hard to control when he lost his temper. He turned without looking and walked right out in front of the car. It wasn't good. What's your relationship with Mrs. Patterson, Mr. Sabo? We're friends. Good friends. You expect me to believe that? Look, I was filing for divorce. Mental cruelty. Lester could be a mean son of a bitch. And Lester knew about that? No. I hadn't told him. Well, hasn't this worked out well for the two of you? I feel almost bad for busting in on this little rendezvous. I like our partner. Hit and run. How did the car come to hit Lester? He walked straight into the path of an oncoming car. She's, she's lying. See the eyes darting around? Bad cop. You expect me to believe that, Lorna? It's all very convenient. Gambling for Lester was like the needle for a hophead. He was yelling at me. He was yelling at the whole world. I kind of felt sorry for the driver. Poor guy had no chance. Interesting statement. Kind of feel sorry for the driver. Because you set him up. You, the, you, you, you. Did she push her husband in front of the car? Nature of the argument. You're arguing in the bar and on the sidewalk. We're always arguing. So what? Oh. Bad cop. Admit it. You were baiting him. Pushing his buttons. We can easily get the full story from the regulars in the bar. All right. Lester was playing cards out back. He lost, of course, and wanted back in. He suggested I earn the money on my back to get a mistake. That was the proposition he was putting to his so-called buddies. So maybe I was a little angrier than usual. Oh, oh, oh. Let's just say I took exception to his idea. Okay, what about your... Uh partnership here with Mr. Sabo. The bartender said that you and Leroy were planning to go into business together. Can you explain how you'll get the money to do that? I have a little money saved away. Oh, we know about the insurance policy. Bad cop. Sabo has no money. This place can't be worth much. Where is the money coming from? My father left me this house and some money. Lester took out a second mortgage. I held on to the money and kept my mouth shut. And that's all I'm going to say on the subject. You and Mr. Sabo have an interesting day. No, no, I'm no, sure no. we will, officer. We have more now, questions. I only got leave. two out of three right. I got one wrong. 
Sorry for your loss. I can see what a tough time you're having with all this. We needed to push harder on her. I'm gonna look around the house. Probably nothing. I didn't. Uh, oops, here we go. Yep, they did it. Looky here. But we don't have any clue indications. No good to me. Yeah. Um, I guess we're not going to do the, maybe there's knives missing thing, like we did with the wrench. Don't think this is anything. No. Can't go out. was a boxer. Can't go in, can't go in. We can go in this one. Why did we knock? What now? The autopsy result might have come back. Call in. Poker in the back room. A to use a phone. And that's the only the only thing I'm getting. Um, phone is. I don't see it. It says I'm right on top of it. It says I'm right on top of the phone. <laughs> it's saying I'm right on top of the phone. Come on. Did we see a phone? <sighs> Not on any of the tables. The phone is right on top of, we're right on top of the damn phone. Oh, come on. This is getting stupid. <sighs> Where's the phone? Oh, is it outside? Do we pay for, yeah, down the street. Phelps, badge 1247. Messages for me, please. Just one detective from the coroner. Message reads, Phelps, see me at Central Morgue immediately. Right. Results of the Patterson autopsy. Yeah, here we go. Thanks, man. We're going to find out what I already told you, what we already know. You know the way. You can drive. So, where do you want to go? The morgue. Yeah, all we have to do is um, get enough evidence to pin it on them. And I got one of the questions wrong, which probably would have helped lead us in that direction. I was too easy on her. We can put the driver in front of a judge in less than a week. We don't know who the driver is. Run that by me again. The victim was dead before the car hit him. I told Two you. Puncture wounds dead? The right side of the thorax. Second puncture reached his heart. His heart? All that blood? Been doing this job 23 years, son. 
No one's ever laughed at one of my jokes. He was stabbed to death? Long, sharp knife. Length of a bayonet. We found a knife in the alleyway. Where is it now? Was it bagged? By Patrolman Kaplan. Perfect. I'll get you a definite match. Jesus, we got him. Murder one. We were right there, and they tried to stare us down. Now they'll both get the gas chamber. We have the knife, we have the coroner's report, and I bet we could roll Sabo as a witness. Let's bring her in. Yeah, but we have a loose end with the uh, hit and run, right? Um, no, 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 you drive, son. Partner. You're, you're behind, behind the, the wheel. wheel. And where exactly are we going? Shh, I don't know. Shelton? Shelton. Who is okay, Shelton? <laughs> I don't know who Shelton is. It's a lucky break getting a partial ID. These cases are usually dead in the water after 24 hours if no one comes forward. Why don't they just stop? You heard about fight or flight during the war? Sure. Shelton was never back your enemy into a corner. How did we know that? I'm right. Well, in a hit and run, the perp is already in flight. It's easier to keep going. Okay. It takes a degree of moral courage to stop and accept responsibility. Okay. You're not as dumb as you make yourself out to be, are you, Stefan? I didn't know I was making myself out to be dumb. <laughs> okay, so I'm not. Sh we don't have to do this. We we know we have to. Well. Ah, uh, yeah, that's the car. Look at the, the, the bumper. Why are we sitting? What's going on? It's 7.43, so we had to wait till morning. So we sat there in the car and just sort of staked it out, ate donuts, drank coffee. Yep. This is our hit and run guy. That's There's a hood ornament, right there. but we know that's irrelevant. William Shelton? Yes. It doesn't look good, Shelton. You packing your bags and making a run for it? You know why we're here. Yes. The accident. We've got witnesses who can put this car at the scene, not to mention the physical damage. This is open and shut, Shelton. Okay. Oh, car chase. Oh, no. No. <laughs> that coward thinks he can run from everything. I didn't even have to do this. I mean, we had our guy. We had him. I mean, we have the murderers. Enough games, folks. Take this guy out. Try it. I wonder if he's gonna drive it like this. I was trying to hit him, man. Lay into his wheel arches. Come on. Don't let that asshole get away. Well, we did. I'm letting you get away on purpose now. Yeah, I, I want to restart. We've got to track down that Lincoln, Phelps. We find the car, and we nail the driver. God damn it! So much for our hit and run case. All right, let's do it again. Uh. Yeah, we don't. Oh, well, yeah, we do need to get the hit and run part taken care of. Okay, okay, okay. I still don't know how we knew it was Shelton. Oh, we got the license plate. The three. Yeah, okay, I remember now. I was completely discounting this guy because I was just focusing on the killers. to be uh, better. <laughs> that son of a bitch right there. William Shelton? Yes. It doesn't look good, Shelton. You packing your bags and making a run for it? You know why we're here. 
Yes. The accident. We've got nice witnesses guy, who can put actually, this car in the scene. Not, a... not to mention the physical damage. He's this is open and shut, Sheldon. I don't know why he's scared, but well, he's scared or something. He's hiding something. That coward thinks he can run from everything. <laughs> Pardon me for the outburst. Don't hit any people, please. Uh, man, once you start swerving, you can't stop swerving. No wonder he killed someone driving like this. Me or him? Don't let that asshole get away. Wow. Come on, that should have spun him out. Whoa! All right, I give up. That's it. Cuff men were done. We have the knife, we have the coroner's report, and I bet we could roll Sabo as a witness. Let's bring her Hands in. behind your head! How does a vehicular manslaughter rap sound, Shelton? I hit him. I admit it. I just panicked, but it wasn't my fault. What do you mean? The guy jumped right out in front of me. He came out of nowhere. There's nothing I could do about it. Why didn't you stop? I've had accidents before. Aha, uh -huh. that's, that's it. Was high. We're done here. The DA is gonna love you. They weren't all my fault. I'm a surveyor. I need my license for my job. There were people around. A woman and a man were standing right next to him. I uh -huh. thought they could get him to a hospital. I'm telling you, it's not my fault. The guy is dead, Sheldon. You can't be serious. William Shelton, you're coming downtown. We need to talk about a manslaughter charge. No, we don't. No, we don't. No, we don't. There's a woman so, that manslaughter. So, initial report came back with an ID on our victim, Lester D. Pattison of 182 North Hope Street. Captain wants us there double quick. Okay, yeah, so I did this out of... Can you drive to this one? All right. Where to? Uh, well, I only have uh, Pattison... Uh... Pattison's residence, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> it's hard to tell the sequence to do the stuff in. So I should have done this before. Well, it doesn't matter. I mean, we didn't even have to do that if we didn't want to catch the, the hit and run guy. And I almost wish we didn't. Almost. I mean, you know. He was set up, and he's, oh, uh, I don't know. He's spoken to the coroner, Mrs. Patterson. I focus, focus. His cause of death. We'd like you to come downtown and answer some questions. It wasn't me. It was Leroy's idea. Ooh. Leroy stabbed him. I had nothing to do with it. Where is Leroy under now? The bus, right off the he's bat. He's in the bedroom. No, he's not. You're very good, Lorna. Put the gun down, Leroy. Oh, boy. If you do something stupid now, you don't stand a chance in front of the grand jury. I see you to give me up, sweetheart. All that whispering in my ear, telling me how we had to get rid of him, how good it could be, Bing. all the money we could claim. Get out of the line of fire, girl. Girl, how to get him into don't the street, stand how to between make us. Like an accident. For God's sake, you Leroy, all shut the up. Your face is covered, baby. I nothing to do you with think it. I'm going to fry for you, He's Lorna? He's a crazy man. Shoot him. Shoot him, for God's sake. Ah, I told it's you not late, to Sabo. stand between us. Where is he? I lost him. Oh my God. Run! I quit holding now. So hold stop up. or I will shoot! I can run! I, I forget I have to hold LT. I was trying to give him a chance. I can't shoot him. Where I lost him. Where is he? 
He's hiding. Where is he? He's fading, he's fading. Come on, Flatfoot, let's negotiate. How long do you think you can hold out? Uh, inca incapacity. Put your weapons down and your hands in the air. Help me! I shot him. In the head. Now, we have nothing. You look spooked, Phelps. I thought you'd been there, under fire before. We, we can't... We can't prosecute him! easier, Bukowski. So, I give you a hit and run, you bring me back fraud, conspiracy, and first-degree murder. This is how a good detective operates, oh, Phelps. Oh, okay. You take nothing at I face value. I thought we blew it. You keep digging and asking questions until you get to the truth. You got some sharp elbows on me, detective. I like that. Keep up the good work. You guys told me if I shoot in the air... Um, a warning shot that the person we're chasing will stop. You told me that. And I fired the air and he kept running. Four star. Clues found eight of nine. So there's a clue I didn't find. There's a question I got wrong. Vehicle damage, $148. City damage, $100. Another visit to raise, and you would have seen what Leroy was preparing prepared to do to avoid jail. Ah, so I should have gone back to raise. I was too impatient. Close up. I was too impatient. A slip of the tongue. Man, I'm just messing up. I feel like I'm messing up, but we're still getting by. No, it's not. B cop says he located a green Kaiser Fraser from the hot sheet. Address is six West Second Street. Get over there, see what you can find out. Go on. Sorry to inconvenience you. What was the name of this? We're on it, Captain. Investigate stolen vehicle. Stolen vehicle caught. Yeah, we're getting a lot of those. Um, hold on. A green Kaiser Frazier. Stolen vehicle. We're on it, Captain. Um, this is going too fast. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm still... <laughs> I'm still chewing on the first one with the kid. Uh... And then we get through the second one. You know, maybe I just need to do one uh, case per episode. Because then you just, cause now we're jumping into a third one. And I'm still like, uh, I'm still on the first one. <laughs> you know, and trying and thinking about, you know, what I missed and, and, and how I could have done it better. And I, I guess, uh, you know, getting a five star on the, our very first one has got me spoiled. And I want five stars every time. Um, anyway, um, let me pause. Let me let me see. Let me put together what we've got so far. And I'll make a decision as to whether or not we do a third one. Um, take a break. Smoke them if you got them. I'll be right back. Yeah, I'm going to end it here. I feel like I had a bad day at work. Um, you know, cold day. Cole had a bad day at work today. I mean, we got two four stars, but um, I learned that you have to do things in the right sequence. Just go top to bottom on his notepad, you know? I learned that. I learned I can't drive, <laughs> but I already knew that. And, uh, It's getting a little bit more difficult, um, but it's still 
easy. Uh, and I think that makes me rush because I've got it solved, you know, before we have very much evidence. I've already solved it in my head. So I just want to get to, I just want to cut to the chase, you know. And you can't do that. You still got to play the game and, 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 and go through uh, everything in sequence. Because if, if I hadn't, you know, if I hadn't just cut to the chase, we never would have got the hit and run driver in that one. And um, anyway, so um, I'm learning. I'm still learning the game. Uh, and I still feel like the game holds your hand a little too much. Um, a little bit, you know, as far as not being able to um, really explore the way I want and, and not, and you're kind of locked into just three options, you know, good cop, bad cop, accused, and you really need more flexibility in there, but um, Rockstar won't listen to me, and, and of course, they, they're never touching this game again. Uh, it's, uh, it's old, so it's the way it is, and I just have to learn that part of, uh, of how to play the game. But solving the crimes is, is not hard. Um, it's just playing the game and, and getting, you know, because I want the five star. I got spoiled because I got five star on that one, and now on, on the one case, and I want five star every time, and I feel like if I don't, I have a bad day at work. So, anyway, thank you all for watching. We will continue. What was the next one called? A slip of the tongue. And uh, we will continue on with that on the next one. And um, I want to get us out of traffic. I want to get us. I think when we get out of traffic, I don't know what we get promoted to from there. Vice or homicide. Uh, things are going to get a lot more uh, difficult uh, for me to, to figure out. Because I'm figuring them out early. Uh, it, it, it's... it's too many things are, are obvious. The only, thing that, the only thing that isn't obvious to me is um, uh, good cop, bad cop, I keep saying, <laughs> and taking my time uh, to look through the evidence I have, uh, which would help me make those decisions, because I think I, I should have been able to five-star both of them. Anyway, thank you all for watching. I appreciate it very much, and I do appreciate all the helpful tips. Um, I hope you're having as much fun as I am. I'm having a blast. Uh, and uh, you have a good day. You all take care. We'll see you on the next one.